Um, so are we allies right now? Maybe. Or are we at peace? Or? Well, um, I think I just need to run down the survivors before my turn runs out. Uh, oh, I haven't even found you. You're not on my list. Oh, that might be it. We might not be at war. So uh, I think we might need to both send an envoy right. to the middle of the sea. <laughs> Where we can shout at each other and declare war. Yeah. I fucking hate you! You scumbag! <laughs> you suck! You're not my mum! <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Uh, okay, let's meet at the, I don't know, the Great Ocean sign or something in the middle of the sea. Okay. If you zoom out, um, then we can actually fight each no other. No problem. Let me just kill them, them fucking beastie men. I, I mean, I wasn't at war with them, but you can't just turn up with a raiding stack in the middle of my lands. Yeah, yeah, and just stop pissing around. Yeah. Just leaving dung piles. Jeez, well, they fucking iced a whole load of skeletons. I sure did. These skeletons are not. Yeah, they're not so good. Pretty bad skeletons. Bam. Just head that way. You going? He's going. Great. Oh, these guys need names. Uh, yeah. When they meet, they can come up with some names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like he's not really done anything to like earn himself a name That's yet. That's very true. Yeah, they do need to earn their names. Uh, Barmo. Uh. Wanna occupy? Raise it? Plunder? Let's wow, occupy. A lot of archers. Um Well, I assumed because I have limited recruitment of archers, they must be better. <laughs> right. That's, Anything that's restricted yeah, is good. It's surely surely good. Uh so where's Sildor? Okay, it's there. And Grey Rock Point. Man, I feel like I'm playing your campaign. Uh your elf force thing, trying to take over these spots. Oh, these terrible lands. Um, are, are they hospitable for you? Because I guess undead don't care about like desolate wastelands, well, right? Some of it's hospitable, some of it isn't. Some of it's a bit damp. Ugh. No, oh, no. My my rags are getting all mildewy. That's how the rot sets in. Yeah, yeah. I don't want that at all. Uh, how long? Population growth seems fucking weird. Um, I mean, building, unlocking more tombs, raising more. Skelly workers? I guess, maybe. Look, there's uh, a little little tomb out in the desert. There's lots of nice little things in the desert. Like, look over here. There's a sphinx. Oh. Oh, and it's the one... It, they've literally modelled it. Do you remember in the old, like, White Dwarf Battle Report scenery collection, they had a, a sphinx that they made for the Tomb King's army. Yeah. And it's literally identical, the one in the game. Ooh. To the, to the one they used to have at the studio. Oh, my God. That's I need to cool. see this. Um, I just have... Just turds and crap around here. Oh yeah, you were in scumbag land. It's really fucking just horrible. So what happens if you get a rebellion? Is it just a regular rebellion, or does something um, weird happen? I don't know. I, I assume it's just like a neutral army springs up and mm. sure. causes you grief. God damn it! Damn dirty neutrals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vampire friend, greetings. Oh. Yes, trade. What's what's old Luthor up to? He's trading with me. It's my buddy. He's trading. Yeah, because he's a vampire undead, and therefore he thinks Nagash is the best. Oh. And so he thinks I'm the best. Oh. So I have a massive penalty with Tomb Kings, but a big friendly buff with vamps. Ooh. My bone wharf <laughs> gives me a plus one trade, plus one percent trade. Uh, that sounds trash. Wow. Sounds so bad. I guess if you get a lot of them. Hmm. <laughs> Gives you growth too, though, right? Yeah, it gives me a little bit of growth. I know, but I do wish it didn't take up a building slot. Yeah, jeez. Like, there's definitely better things I could put in there. Um, oh fuck! Is it worth trying to just bone around and take all these guys out and and have sad territories? You can build happy houses. Yeah, I might have to build happy houses. You right, bone wharf. You're trash. I'm gonna have to smash you. I don't. I you can't, can't, I can't. I can't. I can't smash. You can't them. smash uh, ports. What the hell? Man, they're gonna rebel super fucking fast. Uh, Turn the taxes off. Yeah, that might be the one. Put an army in. Uh, there is an army there at the moment. Right, let's untax them. Ooh, who are these guys? Dark Elf rebels. <laughs> I'm at war with them as well. Sure. I shall happily go to war with you, Dark Elf rebel. Um, blam. Right. Oh, cool. I found a boat. 
And the boat has... Da -da 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 -da, a second chest. 1,000 gold. Nice. There's, um, uh, I've got a skull reef next to me, and it looks amazing. Like, you, you know how You're just how saying I, that because you like skulls. <laughs> I, well, just those giant stone skulls, man. They, are, they just have such, like, a good look they to them. They do look cool. So where are we meeting? But where it literally says Great Ocean. Uh, yeah, or oh. if you want to... Are you there already? I'm, um, like, two turns out. Okay, yeah, I'm probably, like, a little bit further. I'm still walking across Nagarant. <laughs> oh, right. Fair enough. Uh... Yeah, it's going to take me a few more turns. Oh, cool. I'm trading with the, um, with the dwarves. Who what? Near me. Fucking uh, Greybeard's prospectors. Holy shit. They're, they're trading with me. That's so weird. Normally, normally you can never get friends with dwarves. Oh, but they love that I beat up the beastmen. Oh. I'm getting 27 points of beastmen killing. Also, they do love gold. I love gold. And they, well, I've got diamonds, even better. Oh, gemstones. Fuck. Oh no, they're giving me gemstones. Oh. Wow. Mm, sure. Brilliant. Fuck me, Oh I man, need... killing this beastman. Best thing I've ever fucking done. I think I need to have a chat with some of these guys. Try and get some trade, trade on. <laughs> you know how until the really late game, trades are normally like irrelevant. Yeah. Um, until you get like loads of it and you've got a huge empire. Well, it's down half my income. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> but how much is your income? 75. <laughs> nice, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, but, well, yeah. Now that sounds pretty fucking powerful. Oh, shit, how tough is this place? Oh, it's pretty fucking tough. They've got a full army. Gosh darn it. Oh, no. Fucking Bretts. I'm about to take one of their territories, and so they've come in to threaten one of mine. Oh. My sons of bitches. Do what? I double back and fight them off? Ooh. Or do we just base race it? What would the Doomborn do? Don't. <laughs> uh, well, the Doomborn are all about the base race, aren't they? They love a good base race. There's their full attack, eh? Um, no defense, eh? So, it, wait, is that what you're supposed to do or what you're not supposed to do? I forget. That's what the book says. Um, it says it works out great. Uh, ew, wow, everyone fucking hates, hates me, Ben. On aggression, lizards? No, fuck you. Oh, oh, okay, right, there must be Skaven around here. Oh, yeah, beat up the Skaven, make friends with the lizards. Um, I want to fight fucking Dark Elves, but... E uh, not today. If I cancel a halfway through construction, will I get the money back? Yeah. All the money? Yeah. Pretty sure. 90% mm. sure. Yeah, I think I did. I've just cancelled the town upgrade in the town that's about to be murdered. <laughs> oh yeah, that's probably a good a good call. Because like, in income money is so hard to come by as Tomb Kings. Like sixteen hundred bucks is a like, big fucking it's like deal. Twenty turns of income. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh shit! Scorpion doesn't count as a monster for gate smashing. Oh. I've got to build a fucking battering ram. Oh, that fucks with the base race. That's annoying. Also, why has he got walls? He hasn't built walls. Don't know, Ben. Oh shit, is this a new thing? What? Oh, maybe it's just this one territory. So the, the third level of town in this territory has given him walls. Oh shit, wow. Which normally isn't a thing. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah, I think it's just a magic territory that does that. Oh. It's fucking weird. Very nice. Okay, cool. How do I meet the Skaven? <laughs> I can't, I can't see them. A, a, a hero can like go into a ruin and say oh. hello. Okay. Oh. Have you heard the good word of kark buck buck? Kark buck buck. Plus no. Is she gonna continue? Oh. Oh no, she turned around. Um. Some dark elf wanted a piece of piece of me. Hmm. Oh, oh, the peasant's crusade has come. <laughs> oh my god, these guys, they are going to they have gloating rights for life when they return back to peasant land. <laughs> they got all the bones. Yeah, like fight like actually legit fighting undead uh, you know, in the you know, sacred lands. Oh, yeah, uh, they went to the they went to the sacred lands. They came home. They have treasure from looted tombs. Yeah, did the proper holy war. Uh Man, yeah. 
Good for them. Oh no, they they didn't loot me. They've occupied. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, guess I'll just have to kill them. Oh shit. Well, thanks for fucking my camera, Warhammer. I know. Why does it do that? <laughs> just, uh, but it's not consistent. It just every now and again is like, oh. Your camera was oriented one way and looking at your kingdom. Bam! <laughs> now it's somewhere else. Oh no, that dissolved both my trade agreements because that was my port. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, the one thing that was going well. Oh, you fucking assholes. Oh, Ben. <sighs> um. Oh man, some of the artwork for these notifications is cool. Oh my god, the... The the whole like skeleton warrior combined with Egyptian ancient Egyptian like style looks so fucking good. You know, these headbands, these tower shields and scimitars and stuff, headdresses. Yeah, yeah, it's a good such a fucking good aesthetic. You know, I, like I I'm just a big fan of just skeleton warriors in general. Yeah, me too. Um, but combine that with like an ancient like warfare thing, like you make them believe like Greek hoplites or Egyptian guys and they just look even cooler yeah 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 give them like a style um i do right. quite like the sort of like super medieval like give them like you know oh like uh, coifs. chain chainmail coifs uh mm. you know that's that sort of like look anything really as long as they're sort of like got some kind of style to them they're not just skeletons yeah 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 uh wow well, clovis everstone he he had no helmet he had the face of the templar and then after he lost the battle, he had his helmet on suddenly. Oh my god. <laughs> that was weird. <sighs> Do you think it's like a bruise? He's not actually dead. <gasps> the body he left was actually just a peasant. Oh, he swapped. He put all his like cool clothes and armor on a peasant and mm. ran off like with a you know rag over his head. And yeah, put put like the helmet on the guy. And everyone's gonna be like, oh, of course this is Clovis Everstone. He's yeah. wearing the armor. He's got the jewels. And now he's living as like a concubine to some kind of Arabian prince. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, the adventures he'll have. <laughs> exactly. His disguise is amazing. Man, Clovis Everstone. I really hope he turns up again later. <laughs> Man, I'm into him. I'm, yeah. Let's, let's hope he turns up again. Where, where are you at now? Um, I'm just by Grey Rock Point. Like, it, it takes me so long to get across here. Wow. Okay. Uh, um, so if you want to go towards the Sea of Serpents. Yeah, I'm I'm under the E of the Great Ocean. Wow, fuck, yeah. Um I'll come meet you by the serpents. I'm still, yeah, going through land. Okay. Um <laughs> And he has moved beeline every turn. Uh I'm not kind of like dilly dallying. Man, I hope my friends aren't like upset with me that I breached our trade agreement. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like, Surely they can't be too salty about that. I don't know, because like the game penalizes you if you break treaties. Mm. I didn't mean to. Oh, the humans are back. The empires. They they want a non-aggression for a hundred bucks. Ooh. Oh, but guys, I am I, I am going to invade you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. And I I only make like fifty bucks a turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um mm. Mm. I don't, no, no, because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ruin my uh, my diplomacy credits with everyone else. Also, they're not gonna go toward you. Oh my god, Gruck Stonehorn! What the fuck? Who's that? Some fucking jerk hole. Alcadizar the Conqueror. Is he the dude that killed? Um... Yeah, he was the last king of Kemri, and Nagash kept him prisoner um, to gloat over him. And it's like, I've defeated your kingdom. Your whole world is ash. You will be my slave. And then... Um, He's the guy that kills him. Right? And then the Skaven snuck in. And, oh, they gave him like and a they fell, gave him blade. The fell blade. Nice, yes. And he cut Nagash's hand off as he was in the process of raising the, every dead person in the world to become his oh. like, minion. Which is why only Kemri is like cursed and not the whole world. Because yeah, he was like yeah. halfway through it. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Like, um, have you got an option to like raise him? Uh, I had a thing. Get bonus of something or bonus or some jars, and I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll just take the thing. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> you just recognised the name. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a cool story. Like they they snuck in and like gave him this super magic sword that was so powerful that like it kills you every second that you hold it. Yeah, yeah, the fell blade, man. I'm a big fan of the fell blade. I love how the Skaven were like, 
we've made the ultimate weapon, but none of us want to use yeah, it. Yeah, we're, we're not, not going to use it. But <laughs> we're not really big on the sacrifice play. Yeah, but you, um, you know, you're, you're going to die. Or, like, you know, you're so bitter and, like, you know, seeing your empire get smashed that you probably would kill yourself to kill him. They probably didn't tell him that it kills you. <laughs> well, that's the trick. That's the real <laughs> trick right there. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. They were just like, it's the best sword. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, really fucking good. Really good sword. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I want a happy house, didn't I? Where is happy house? Here's happy house. Bam. Right, build little happy house. Everyone be happy. Man, oh, I could really do with like a second army. I know, right? How long are you off re re researching yeah, your second army? Miles away. Oh, four turns. Four? Well, yeah. five turns. What the fuck? Uh, did you not do it straight away? I did it straight away. I should oh, be a I turn even, ahead of you. I even did it a turn later. I, I think know, um, right? I think my guy gives oh, me 10% research Your research bonus. guy. You're a book nerd. Fucking book. Well, which is perfect for book wars, then. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Which is what we're currently fighting. Oh, I just got a, a Kemri Highborn follower for... Oh. Highborn of Kemri, plus two public order for Arkan. Cool. Okay. He's got a noble on board. Nice. That's... Keeping, keeping people's happy. Good, good, I guess. Right, let's come take back our our port. Are you guys just trading now? Did did you smash their place? Yeah, did I took the race? sorcerer's islands, um, which feels good. Man, I really want my priest back so I can get a healing buff. Just hurry up, Tom. He's on. He's, he's <laughs> on his way. He's kind of a, a bit above the S of C. Okay, well now I've stolen his port, the sorcerer's isles. Maybe I can reinstigate my my trade agreement. Sure. No, I can't. No. Oh, because there's no route from my port to my capital. No, oh, fuck. <laughs> right. Okay. Fine. Next turn. Ooh, lights of the flame. What are they up to? Oh shit! They're sending in another stack. Oh god. Part, well, another half stack. Fucking, An another peasants' crusade. Fucking, fucking lights of the flame. Oh, ambush are discovered. Grux Stonehorn. You see a beastie man. Oh, fuck me. It's like a... F oh, he's raiding me as well. Oh, I got a highborn of Kemri. Aim for the head. Missile damage plus 25%. Wow, fuck me. You got a lot of shooters. Yeah, that's good. Wow, how long does that last for? Ooh, a little while. Uh, sh fuck me. There's this full stack beastman army I'm at war with. Raiding... F I'm at... It's costing me... More than you're making. 315 bucks a turn <laughs> oh, to have fuck! this here. <laughs> <laughs> so they're raiding 300 bucks. You're only making like 50 bucks or 100 bucks or something. God. Well, it's pretty in my favor. So I guess auto. Wow. Um, yeah, it does say pretty much in your favor. Because uh, he's only got one unit of gore. Everything else is shit. Yeah. Man, these fucking dicks. Uh, oh, yeah, I can play as AI now. Can you play as AI? Yeah, fight the battle against the other player by controlling the AI's forces. Oh, do you want to? Um... Yeah, you haven't had to fight a battle yet. Sure. Maybe I can kill your cool thing. Not my cool thing, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're going to win, but how much is it going to cost you? <laughs> oh, man. That's the question. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, man, I wish I was in proper Kenry lands, not Disgusto Stink Hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the gross lands from Grimsby. Yeah, wow. Oh, and yeah, I get to see what my hero titan does. Yeah, we need to try your What's stuff he out. To? He looks cool. He's got some scales. He's got a big stave. What's he got? Spirit leech. Perfect. What's that doing? Shem's burning gaze. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that joke. Never gets to, old. Used to entertain us so much, like always too much as kids. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, well, the um, the big one was the the gaze of Nagash. Gaze of Nagash was just a fucking classic <laughs> okay, yeah. every day of the week. Um, <laughs> just absolutely adored. Just uh, sending the gaze of Nagash on people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a simpler time. Man, it really was. Um, those, those were honest days. <laughs> honest gay days of vaguely homophobic jokes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, did you hear about um, Friends is on Netflix? Oh, yeah, it got really super And it got super slated because suddenly everyone's realised that the 90s were quite quite homophobic time. <laughs> yeah, and they make lots of jokes about things that um, you, can't, you can't anymore. It's 2018. Yeah. It's 2018, guys. <laughs> yeah, like I watched Seven um, a little while ago. 
And there's quite a lot of it in that too. Really? Because it was the 90s and, you know, it was just fine to call someone up like a cocksucker <laughs> and mean it as a as a bad thing. Oh, shit. Uh, although they say that a lot in um, Deadwood. True, but that that's a period piece. Maybe Friends is a period piece now. Yeah, it is a bit. It's like a real slice of 90s. 90s stuff, isn't it? Um, right. Magic Titan. Go do a thing. Where is your magic titan? What, what does he do? Let me see him. He's stood oh, there. He's got some scales. Yeah, yeah. And a stick. Yeah. And he... Oh, he's got a good clanking when he walks. He really clanks, doesn't oh, he? Oh, I like that. Clang, clang, <laughs> clang. Uh, can you... Do you want to send a unit forwards and I'll use Sh Shem's burning gaze on them? <laughs> sure. Pew, pew, pew. Clem's burning gaze. Do it. Hit me with your gaze. Uh... Is he doing it? Uh, he's doing something. Blammo! Boom! Not Boom! nearly as exciting as I was hoping for. No, maybe if you hit something that's good with it. Um, then it would be better. But uh, right now, not the one. Uh, right, my people have magic powers, so... Oh, oh you've God. gone green. You stanked me. You've, you're a stank man now. I think stank is healing. Okay, right. Okay, that's cool. Uh... What is this? Oh, my little light boy has Shem's burning gaze as well. Sure, oh. let's try. Oh, and you've got a swirling vortex of solely doom. Yeah, it's sand, Ben. It doesn't look like sand. It's sand. Oh fuck! Oh, Shem's man. burning gaze. It just super broke my entire army. The, the sandstorm. Yeah, or the gaze. I don't know. Something happened. Oh and well, the now gaze. Dead. He just fired into the back of my guys. Oh. Uh, so, wasn't amazing. Um. Man, you really, really wanted to fucking shoot my boy, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you had a fun thing. My robot. I don't want you to have a fun thing. Spirit Leech. Although, he's pretty damn tanky, isn't he? Uh, right. Can you Spirit Leech them? Give them a Spirit Leeching. Oh. Oh, I like that. Hit them with one of those, too. And just keep just keep shooting shooting guns. Yeah, this was a bit like a probing attack. See how good your robot is. Find out what is going on. And it turns out it's pretty fucking tanky. He's he's fairly tanky, huh? Like it's probably more effort than it's worth to try and kill him. Yeah, with puny puny little bows. Um... So I basically just threw my entire army at him, and he just went meh, ten percent damage. Uh, I'll I'll be all right. It's fine. Um, do you want another Darude Sandstorm? <laughs> uh, yeah, because that's what you're getting. Oh, spooky Sandstorm! Oh, dude, what's that spell called? <laughs> it's called... Um, a Sandstorm. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> it's literally just uh, Sandstorm. Darude cast Sandstorm on you. Oh. Use Sandstorm on YouTube commenter. Nice. Uh, well, I'm killing your gross birdos. <laughs> my gross birdos? Jeez, I don't even fucking want them. Uh, but because I guess they're unique and I won't get them back, I should want to save them, but... I don't know. I find it a bit hard to kind of like use those units. Because mm, they, they can sneak about, but there's very few things they can actually fight. Yeah, like, you know... They could probably go kill an artillery piece or something. Yeah, that's it. That, like, always makes sort of sense. But if the enemy doesn't have anything like that, then, like, what do you do? Oh, it's time for the old sharp tea. No, it's not. It's time for my general to kill your general. Oh. In general Wars. That is oh, man. definitely My guy's like happening. a giant fucking ginger beast man who's twice the size of your guy. Yeah, mine's a piddly little book boy. <laughs> Oh, you've give, you've netted him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that do? It literally keeps you stationary. While... Oh, what are you for Scarpe? Yeah, yeah. That is exactly what I'm doing. You son of a bitch, you little book nerd. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how do you like that? I don't like it at all. Yeah, it's I'll... tricksy and mean. Yeah, right. I escape. <laughs> Makes um, me not want to tell you when I'm fighting your book boy. Well, I was kind of like, I saw that he's like taking damage and I was like, oh, what's going on over there? But Ben's definitely not attacking him. Carrion, why are you in the fight again? I said, leave. Okay, we're done. It's oh, over. oh the, the super route. 
Perfect. Great. Everyone, chomp him. Oh, wow. He is a big ginger beast boy. He was like, he's twice the size of your guy. Oh, okay. Blammo. We did it. Ah, oh, GG. Right, next time, I won't try to kill the Titan. I will just kill mans. <laughs> just kill skeletons because... Well, they're so fucking puny, aren't they? I know. Even once my army had broken, I could still I still killed a couple of units. Yeah. It's just like, oh man, they do not do good. Um Oh man, I did actually half kill your general just in a few like seconds of combat. Yeah, he wasn't too happy about that. Ooh. Extra. Well, then he got 173 kills from sandstorming. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That's some good shit. Um Endless March. That probably sounds good. And get some cash money. After they fucking raided me. Um, can I follow up? Oh, he's got a skill. I'm going to give him that first. Oh, I'm going into scorpion fucking desert stance. Yeah. It's a new thing. Okay. It's like makes a sand whirlwind around me. Makes me a cool guy. It's quite exciting. It is quite exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. And I'm going to replace some unit. No, I'm not. Because that takes two turns. Okay. Right. Where's um, your priesty boy? He is on the of of Sea of Serpents. Okay, sweet. So just head to the, the the end of the word and you will see me. Okay, cool. Cool. Get that I, shit. I like that the, the boats, uh, the, um, what was that fucking game called? The poor man's man -o war Oh, fucking bonkers magic boat. Boat, boat battles. Boat battles. I forget what it was called. Um, but it was it was insane. <laughs> I remember that. It was a cool, cool game. Oh. In premise, but not actually... Just not actually fun to play. That good. Yeah, it was a bit too cumbersome and, like, random, as yeah. far as I remember. It was very random. But all the uh, different boats were good. Yeah, the boats looked amazing. I really liked the models. I can awaken a um, unique unit of carrion. Ooh. Who have armor piercing rules. Oh, that's kind of cool. And death from above? I don't know what that means. Oh. Oh, it's a bombardment. Oh, nice. Oh, they poop on people. They poop. The poop birds. I'm buying the poop birds. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Those guys sound fucking great. Boom, it's cost 100 jars. How do you awaken them? It's on the crafting screen. Oh. Oh, the Legions of Legends. The Flock of Jaff.